is the definition of love. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> You're welcome guys. I don't know why each time I'm in front of the camera, I am always happy, happy to see you guys. Yeah guys thank you for joining thank you for tuning into my channel god bless you god will continue to provide for you if you're new year do subscribe or do like my video and trust me you're going to love this by the end of today's video trust me you're going to be learning one thing or the other and if you're a subscriber thank you for joining once again i really appreciate it god will continue providing for you so guys today we have a very interesting conversation to bring to you it is very entertaining about relationship about love about finance about intimacy just name it just name it and yeah if you want me to discuss anything on my channel just just send me a dm on a, on any of my social media platforms which is going to be my in the description box so thank you so guys they're bringing my friend to the channel her name is don't let me tell you her name anyway she's going to introduce herself so I'm bringing her today. She's gonna be like enlightening us on our thoughts on relationships and all, and I will also be sharing my thoughts. So guys, let's get into it. So guys, we have the beauty in the house. You can see someone beside me. I wish she's beautiful. Uh -uh, what is it? <laughs> I'm not beautiful. I'm like, oh my god, natural beauty. So guys, let's have her introduce herself. Introduce herself to us. Hello guys, I'm Esther. But you can call me Queen Yard. I'm an artist and a crocheter. Yeah. So guys, I'm going to drop her Instagram and do on the um, like description box. Do follow her and she makes nice crochet and yes. you're going to love it. So guys, let's get into it. So, so Esther, so what's the... Um, my definition of love might be a bit weird to you guys. Yeah. <laughs> to me, I think love is just that feeling that makes you feel like, okay, yeah, there's a positive side to life because I am loving someone and i think that is worth it and at the end of the day you are happy yeah that's true you're happy true. and you're satisfied so oh. that's what i feel love is but for me i don't know i just feel like love is too broad to have a definition i don't know yeah, i true. because yeah. there are times where okay when someone asks what is love i say this someone else asks me i'm saying something <laughs> different so you might ask <laughs> me tomorrow am i this is not i give you <laughs> just change and i'll just give you another and, definition and trust me when you have broken you have another definition I for love love is pain <laughs> when you chop break fast then the way you divide love <laughs> <laughs> you'll be like, I'll be like something is wrong with this lady and Esther let me ask why do you think guys cheat and why do ladies cheat okay why do guys cheat I, I think guys I know guys cheat because number one <laughs> they are not satisfied <laughs> and they don't love their partner because no. I, I think if you I don't feel that anyway I, I, I think if you love your partner you won't cheat on them okay because there's always this feeling of you not wanting to hurt the person and you not wanting to make the person sad. There's just this feeling of what if the, this person knows that I'm actually cheating on him or her? How would that make me feel? So once you once you have that thought, once you have mm -hmm. that thinking, you would not even cheat. cheat. You won't. But you know what? For me, I feel like guys don't cheat because they don't love this person. I feel it's lack of discipline because. One thing about yes. it is the moment to say I love you. Yeah. Trust there are times whereby you you run out of love. There are times whereby you see someone more beautiful. Let's be real, we are all beautiful, the, but the, they are great to beauty. The, the, so when you're not disciplined, you see this person, you say, hey, this one has ass, so you follow. You see, you understand? But, so, but, but I just feel like at the end of the day, just caps it that they don't really love the person because at the end of the day, it's just lost. They see this but person with. I would say person. respect. I feel like they don't respect and the person enough. If you love someone, you would respect yeah. the person. So that is just what I, you, I. You would be disciplined when dealing with the person if you love the person. It's just like you. Sorry for. It's just like you loving your parents and when you love your parents, you respect them. You you make sure you are disciplined when you are around them. I feel like it's just almost the same thing as being in a relationship with someone. I know, but like trust me relationship like you know we are we all have different perspectives to it and i feel like okay you might actually love this person and be like well, let me just be dating this person as and the funny part is some guys will actually tell you that oh um i have a babe i have a girlfriend you understand oh. so making you know that okay i'm just trying to like pa have time have nice I'm time with you and all <laughs> so i feel like you know imagine okay you know imagine this person, oh i have a girlfriend i just want to like let us be together be and together. all mm -hmm. and you are even disrespecting your partner to this person that oh with the way he loves himself he's still having some kind of intimacy with me you understand mm -hmm. so i feel like it's lack of discipline for guys and being selfish a little yeah. bit selfish even, and even like you said you are very right they don't maybe, maybe they don't love enough i yeah. feel like they don't love enough or yes. maybe and it is even possible that maybe this person actually stopped doing what they used to do you know yeah, i think it might not even be the fault of the guys 
Yes. You, At you times, know, ladies you know, are also to be blamed. You know, they say people change actually. So trust change if, is very constant. Yes. If there is a particular thing this guy sees and likes in the girl, maybe she is someone who is very hardworking, and suddenly she becomes lazy. There's a possibility that it, the, the change. amount of love he has for her is going to change. And so, there are some people that they feel like okay, maybe they they, they don't really show themselves. There are some people that you, you see some oh I love this girl lady she's an introvert along the line of like hey. I'm just breaking bottles <laughs> you understand so, so this guy, she because <laughs> the, the fa- we all have to know that your partner will always see someone better than you so be real yeah. so when they love Nobody the real you it will be very easy yeah. for you yeah. why do ladies cheat same as they are not satisfied and they are not disciplined and okay let me let me put it this way when a lady cheats and when a guy cheats who do you think takes the cheating more serious like when okay but let me just put this okay there are people that feel like when guys cheat they cheat for the pleasure yeah they're not, not they, they, they know when they are dating a very um responsible lady someone they want to spend the rest of their life with so when they're just cheating probably for the pleasure alone why they feel like when ladies cheat it is because they, are, they have emotions they emotionally like attach yeah, the person I already f- and all i feel like ladies cheating is actually very very strong i feel it's stronger than seeing guys cheat no. because usually ladies are known to usually give their heart to a yeah. guy putting their all in the relationship guys guys do that too but i'm just uh, <laughs> 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 not to be biased you know yeah so, once a lady starts cheating then there's there's something that is missing in that relationship maybe she's not feeling it, it is anymore i i also support it because i feel like when you, for me if i'm going to cheat on someone it means the person i'm dating next is what more yeah or like is probably there's an issue in that relationship i mean like okay with this thing i don't know i feel like all i'm kind of person that i feel like whatever is happening sit your partner down i know there are times like to be be real you don't have to like pretend or date somebody else this is gonna beat you now as 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 much as it sounds weird i still like people will sit down and say okay i want this to be an open relationship so at the end of the day if you see this guy yeah with a, you won't be exactly. surprised the thing like, is, we take that these things too serious Seri- there Please. are levels to this thing you understand mm. there are, and tells that i want an open relationship if you don't want you work out move it out it's not like oh over to the next a bad person it's no as, it is do you want that it? is what if person, not exactly. work out that is what he wants if you don't want it exactly. you are allowed to move forward and if you know you want it you stay there are relationships by two unserious people i don't mean unserious like people that are not really going to take relationships <laughs> serious <laughs> that they are together and they might yeah. eventually fall in love and they might eventually see somebody else they love and okay i think i am done having this with you and they move on that doesn't yeah. just feel like they're a bad person you understand and what is your marriage age? marriage is about two forgivers nice what do you person. think about divorce this is very important in marriage who do you think should handle the finances my friend something will happen no